Are you looking for some new games to grind? In this video, I'm going to cover seven free games that you can start playing right now. The first one up is Sale. So this is pretty much Sea of Thieves in VR. Kinda. This is an open world VR pirate adventure and you're going to be taking on quests for treasure. You are not alone, so this is open world multiplayer. You may find yourself fighting over the treasure. Now like every new experience, it does take a little bit of getting used to. So it does come with a little bit of a learning curve. So just jump in there and start learning things for yourself. Now this game is an alpha. You can check it out on SideQuest, App Lab, and Steam VR. Next one up is Stack. Now this is a free beta game, meaning you can test this for free right now. This is a multiplayer game with post-apocalyptic maps where you try to kill your opponents with a spiky one-tapping disc. The beta has three maps currently, private lobbies with up the six players for team deathmatch and social lobbies with up to 10 players where you just sit around and socialize now the recording right here is from the social lobby now, i thought i was going to suck at this game but i quickly found out that i was actually pretty decent one thing the tutorial did not cover was how to jump up in the air if you just hold the a button and swipe in the air it'll actually lift you off the ground i think you can do it with the other hand as well because i heard some players talking about that but i only used the right hand whenever i was doing that now fling yourself up in the air and just start shooting down at everybody you can also throw the disc and you can also just just stab them in the face with it. So join the beta, find a friend, and join their tournament because they have a $1,000 tournament going on. It's a 2v2 style tournament. When they do release the game, they're going to have more maps. Also, they're going to have a 1v1, team deathmatch, deathmatch, capture the flag, and control. And from the looks of it, they're probably going to be hosting quite a few tournaments as well. Monster Showdown is Call of Duty Zombies. That's it. All right, there's a little more to it. When you complete the tutorial, you are loaded into the lobby to pick a level. I chose neither and I just pet the dog. I mean, there was a parrot too, but the dog was better. The core gameplay is just the structure of Call of Duty Zombies. You can dual wheel guns and you can even mismatch them. You get the guns by buying them off of the walls. Sound familiar? They even have the perk machines. So you fight waves of enemies until you save up enough money to escape. On the left side is the pack-a-punch, on the right side is the escape. Obviously I did not have enough so I had to go back to grinding and saving. There are many levels and a variety of enemies. Also I just wanted to note that this is a single player game. Tactical Assault. Now as soon as I opened it up I saw that multiplayer is coming soon and I was just like Nice. Now I loaded in, I got my mission, I turned around and I quickly saw that this game needed a graphics overhaul. But the gunplay was on point. So I checked out some of their tactical breaches. And I had a little fun with their melee combat. Now overall this game is wildly entertaining. The graphics in the models just need a little work. There are two modes to choose from right now. There's shootout where you just have endless waves of enemies and then there are missions, which is just objective based gameplay. The demo is free, so download it right now and check it out. Need a zebra stripe embedded in your underwear? SCP Labrite is the one that can scare one out of you. It has the capability to do that to your friends as well. This game is now available on Quest 2 with full crossplay to desktop users and other VR players. VR horror is insane as it is, but multiplayer co-op kind of softens that blow just because everybody's going through that same erratic experience as you. Honestly, this game made me about croak. Now I share that experience with my friends, those poor bastards. The more I do YouTube, the more I realize sponsors are a thing. Today's sponsor is Kiwi Design. Here comes some sponsor spam. If you're like me and you play the hell out of your Oculus Quest 2 and just realize that that battery life doesn't last long enough, Kiwi Design has a nice battery pack for you. This essentially triples your gameplay time. So you just strap this to the back of any head strap you have and then you run this cable right into the side of your Oculus Quest 2 and bam, you're ready to rock and roll. There is a link below that goes right to this product and also you get 20% off all the head straps using the code F and hate it. Let's get on with the video. Red Flowers is like Ghost Runner VR. It's a hardcore slasher packed with lightning fast action. Now don't let the trailer fool you. Here is actual gameplay and as you can see the graphics are not finished yet. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes, it now the game's mechanics are smooth and the gameplay excels in entertainment. This game just grabbed me and demanded my attention. If you're not familiar with the game, you're pretty much a hardcore parkour samurai assassin, grappling, slashing, and dashing, leaving nothing but a blood trail everywhere you go. The beta is free, so you get to try it before you buy it. 
And yes, once it's released, it should be looking like this. And I say should because that could be just what the end result is of the PC VR version. Cactus Cowboy Plants at War is a long World War II story campaign with well over four hours of action-packed gunfighting. Battle your way through the Bugs vs. Cacti story to watch how this grudge unfolds. As soon as you load in, the first mission throws you right into D-Day where you're launching mortars at your enemies and healing your cacti comrades. I blew out a whole battery and just barely scratched the surface of the campaign. Now just ask yourself, how long was that Bone Lab campaign? And this is a free game. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys found some new games to grind. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out till then.